It's a step-by-step -step process and Greek bankers were the latest to take centre stage in Athens. Several chiefs and chairmen from the country's main lenders met with the Prime Minister ahead of the latest key vote in Parliament. Their banks reopened on Monday, but normal service hasn't yet resumed. Luca Katselli is president of the Hellenic Bank Association. This is damaging the economy, the real economy. The sooner we meet this goal, the better. Katselli's goal is an economy that operates normally, preferably within the euro. That's Alexis Tsipras's aim too, but it's proving hard to achieve. He's already passed one set of key reforms, including tax hikes and budget changes. The second one will reform the justice system and deal with failed banks. They'll have to impose losses on shareholders and creditors before taking any taxpayers' rescue money. What's important right now is that the system gets back to normal. At the same time, we have to ensure our vulnerable citizens are not harmed by the new development. The reforms are being imposed by Greece's lenders in return for new talks on a third bailout plan. Azad Zangana from Schroders says Tsipras will again need opposition parties to pass them. This should be far less controversial than the reforms proposed last week uh, around the pension uh, cuts and, of course, the increase in value-added tax. So we're expecting the reforms to be voted through quite smoothly. There was another piece of encouraging news too. Standard & Poor's upgraded Greece's sovereign credit rating by two notches. But there are still hurdles ahead. Early retirement needs to be curbed and tax breaks for farmers removed. That'll double their tax bill and it's a move those vital opposition parties say they won't support.